What's up you guys, Eddie at Pliptronics. So I'm gonna be talking about if the LG G8 ThinQ is worth buying or not. All right, so I've been using this phone for about six or seven days straight. It's pretty incredible. Uh, it sells for around $650 brand new right now. Um, but I wanted to show it in the box. Um, I'm gonna get into some of the specs on it. We're gonna watch some Netflix with it, do some gameplay. And I'll throw a link down there in the description if you wanna see our full review on this baby. All right, but anyways, here it is. A uh, little unboxing for everybody, but this phone has Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. Gorilla Glass 6 on the back. Basically, Gorilla Glass is good for, uh, you know, taking drops without your screen cracking. So um, that is one of the good things about it. Uh, the phone also feels really good to hold in your hand. Um, it's got a 6.1 inch OLED display. The display on this phone is pretty incredible. I mean, I think for like a phone that sells for around $600, there's really not much more you can expect. I mean, the phone definitely looks great. The uh, vibrant colors on this thing. Um, and then if we take a look at the back here, uh, really nice design on this phone. So you've got uh, up to a 16 megapixel back camera here. You've got a fingerprint sensor right there. Uh, and the phone just looks really sleek. So, I mean, I love how it looks. I think 6.1 inches on the front here is nice. It's got an eight megapixel front facing camera for taking selfies, which is pretty standard. Would have been nice to see it maybe a little bit higher, maybe like a 10. Then it's got a 3500 mAh non-removable battery. So battery life on this phone has been really good too, especially since I've been playing games on it and watching video. Then of course, uh, you know, um, as far as the uh, processor goes, it's got a Snapdragon A55, which is pretty much a standard processor that you would expect on a phone like this. All right, so anyways, um, you know, let's throw up some Nova Legacy. I'm gonna throw that game up. I'm, I wanna make sure the volume's on its highest setting, but you know, I, I'm just really impressed with this phone. I, I like it a lot. You know, LG phones for me definitely can be hit or miss. I didn't pick up last year's, uh, you know, ThinQ7, but you know, this year I definitely had to grab this one so I could test it out. And we're gonna check out some of the Nova Legacy right here. This is one of the best, you know, first person shooters out there you know you got campaign multiplayer on this just gonna get into some of the campaign and um, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, if you have any questions about this phone right now feel free to hit me up below in the comments I am gonna be doing a lot of videos with it since the phone is pretty much brand new we've got a lot of versus videos coming up with it on the channel too against like the s10 the g7 the iPhone 10r the 10s max we're gonna see how this phone just performs overall but this game is awesome and uh, let me make sure we're on the loudest about yeah we're, we're good to go here uh, we're gonna skip that tutorial. We know what we're doing here. Come on now. All right, so I mean, you could basically hear this. This phone sounds crisp. You know, I mean, the uh, volume sounds really good. It does not break in or out or anything like that. It is very crisp. Sorry, dude. All right, so we don't want to float into outer space. We're just blasting away here. All right, cool. I want to get into, you know, checking out some Netflix as well because I said I was going to throw some up here. So I was watching Infinity War on this. You know, I'm excited about the new, uh, you know, Marvel movie coming out. And uh, let's check some of this out. So we're kind of in, like, the, the middle of this fight scene right here. You are about to die at the hands of the children of Thanos. Be thankful that your meaningless lives are now contributing I'm sorry, to the balance. is closed today. Better yeah, this phone's got a beautiful display, though. I mean, I'm really, uh, you know, feeling it. Looks really good. Not as good as the Galaxy S10s, but I think that, you know, um, it's going to be a cheaper phone, too. So, I mean, still looks really good. Uh, you do have a little bit of the notch you got to deal with here. Doesn't get the complete full screen, but still not bad by any means. All right, let's uh, just check out this quick scene here. I need to concentrate here for a second. 
Hulk is trying to turn into the Hulk here, but it's not happening. Where's your gun? I don't know. Sure don't have a thing. It's no time for a thing. That's the thing right there. Let's go. Shark. Me in front of the wizards. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. Or he won't. Okay. Like, I don't okay. stand down. Keep an eye on him. Thank you. I love him. This scene is just so cool. Awesome. Like I said, I want to get into some more gameplay here. I'm going to throw up Brothers in Arms 3. This game is pretty sick. It's one of Game Loft's best, I would say, as far as like a World War game goes. I'm going to do a little bit of the first level on here, um, and then I'm going to just kind of circle back, you know, cover what I, you know, really like about this phone, maybe some of the things I don't. Uh, but I still think it's a good, solid phone for, uh, you know, the price point on it, which you're looking at around $600 for. So let's get into this uh, first level here. Uh, check this game out, too. It's really cool. Especially if you're in a, like World War type games. slow motion kill all right anyways let's take it back here um, you know to the home screen so do I think the LG G8 ThinQ is worth buying or not I think this phone is awesome you know for 600 bucks uh, you know you've got a lot of you know good things going on here I forgot to mention this phone is a little bit waterproof too so you can get it drenched a little bit without having to worry about it breaking it's not completely waterproof but it is just a little bit. So it's got a 6.1 inch OLED display. Colors on this thing look really nice. Everything looks really cool. Uh, it's got Gorilla Glass, um, you know, five on the front, Gorilla Glass six on the back. So uh, it can take drops really well. The phone does not scratch easy by any means. Um, you know, 16 megapixel, uh, you know, up to a 60 megapixel on the back here, uh, you know, for shooting videos, taking pictures, all that good stuff. And uh, you know, overall, I just think this phone is a, a really solid phone. So I'm excited to do some more videos with it. Uh, we'll be comparing it to like the 10s Max, the 10R, the G, pretty much everything we got on hand here right now. Um, you can check out our full review on it, like I said below, if you wanna check that out. Please hit the like and share. Thanks for watching this, guys, and we will see y'all later.